Hello fellow YouTubers! Uh, how are you doing? I have a slime on my head. Uh, so I just wanted to talk really briefly, really briefly, because I've tried to do this video multiple times and I've screwed it up so many times. So uh, I went to Tokyo over the weekend and I did some things. Pictures will come up sometimes here and there. I went to the new Square Enix store. They did have one that you, if you've seen the video for, that's really shaky and all over the place and makes you want to throw up. I made one of those, and that store is now closed. So they have a different store in in Shinjuku, Shinjuku as well, but it's in a different part of Shinjuku. And this new Square Enix store has a kind of cafe element to it, so you can order some food. I'll show pictures of some of the things we got. Not too early much. They have pretty crazy looking pancakes, but I did not I did not get them. Uh, I did get a couple things, as you can tell. The the slime hat is from there. So, super excited! Uh, as well as a slime cushion. So, do, do, do. Uh, Also, by the... by the... Square Enix store, there is a Lawson's and this Lawson's was uh, Dragon Quest theme themed, so I purchased some uh, earbuds from there just because they had them there, and they came in this awesome slime plastic bag. Yeah. And also for buying that, I was able to get a uh, Dragon Quest X coaster. And as you can see in some of the pictures, there's like uh, slime dressed up in the Lawson's uniform and. Uh, it's sleeping slimes, the registers and stuff. It's 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 cool, 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 cool. I also went to Super Potato and I picked up a Goomba cup, so I liked it, as well as Kirby, the sword version, because I like this Kirby. I have they have a ton of Kirby stuff right now, and it was just kind of kind of crazy to see all of that Kirby stuff, but it's all good. I also picked up the. Persona 3 soundtrack, and I, yeah, I actually just beat the game for the first time, so I really, really, really liked the music and enjoyed it, so, yeah, picked up the soundtrack. And after the trip to Super Potato, I was lucky enough to meet up with a, two doujin artists that I really, really like. Wow. Long story short, really good friend of mine, he makes apps uh, for the iPhone, he made two rhythm games for the iPhone, if you have an interest, check, check out his channel so you can see what they're like, <laughs> and he, yeah, he, I, I, when the second one that he made, I su suggested a couple of doujin artists that he should check out, uh, he should ask to see if they would be interested in either making music or having some music in the game and stuff, and Phoenix Project and Yugen agreed, and they were cool with it, and so, yeah. From from there, like, my friend had been able to meet him a couple times, and I was super, super jealous, so I told him and asked him, hey, next time I come or something, see if you can try to work something out so I could, if I could possibly meet those guys, and uh, things were able to work out, so I was able to, like, not just myself and my friend and those two, but also my friends, kind of coworker with the the iPhone app games and stuff. We all got together and we had dinner at this izakaya bar kind of place. And there, I got to talk with Phoenix Project and you again for a bit. And it was really cool to be able to talk to them. Uh, Phoenix Project, I had ordered a bunch of CDs from intermittently throughout my time here. And so he actually kind of rec he he recognized the name and stuff because I'm probably one of the few, if only <laughs> the only uh, foreigners that order CDs from him. And you get he was uh, like I he was really surprised that I knew so much about his music because I really 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 like, I like both of their music. They they have two different styles. The uh, Phoenix Project right now specifically he's kind of gone. Or a little, he leans a lot more towards the kind of using the Vocaloids and the Hatsune Miku stuff, which it's just it's just good. It's really good. Uh, definitely, I'll have links for both of their sites down below. So if you're interested in just listening to different kinds of music, give them a go. As for you again, he his a lot of his original music would 
work so well for a video game. They're so awesome. But, uh, yeah. And so I got to meet them and have a good time with all of them, which was really great. Phoenix Project was cool enough to actually give me his newest CD, which I uh, did not expect. I don't think anybody expected him to kind of actually hand him out and stuff, but he he gave me his newest CD, and it's super shit. And so it was really awesome of him to do that, and I really, really appreciate it. Definitely thank you, Phoenix Project. It's super special. So, uh, yeah, really cool stuff. I also, uh, I also went to the Konami store uh, that same day, sometime earlier, and I totally forgot about it. <laughs> I I I picked up some two uh, two DX or Beat Mania, the kind of the DJ one headphones. So because I needed new headphones, I was like, ah, let's go with these, and they're 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 good, they're good. The headphones, I, they fit on my head. They play music and sound, so yeah, they're good. I also picked up uh, this pin set for Metal Gear Solid 25th Anniversary. Uh, there's two of them, but I just picked up the one. I should have probably picked up both because they were kind of cheap enough too, but I really, really, really like uh, the Peace, Peace Walker symbol or icon, so I also picked up the uh, wristband of it, so yeah. Now... The next day. What's the next day? Ooh, I'm losing track of my days. Uh, ooh, yeah, no, no, no. Maybe, no. The Sunday, 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 Sunday. I, I my, my friend who I was staying with uh, when I went to Tokyo, he had found this flyer for an uh, Amano Yoshitaka exhibit that was in Shinjuku, uh, which was like about five ten minutes away from his house. It was just or from his apartment, which was really cool. And so we went there. They had some really really cool original works and stuff of his, as well as Final Fantasy artwork. And it was crazy because they were selling some of those original fantasy Final Fantasy artwork prints for like 9 million yen, which is like $90,000, and I cannot afford something like that, even if it's a five-year payment plan. So instead, I went the poor man route, and at the little kind of gift shop thing, I purchased some postcards, which had his, some original artwork of his on there. So, yeah. And I purchased a frame that they actually had available there, so... I could put them in a frame, so I can pretend to look a little bit classier and cultured than this. Ah, <laughs> oh, goodness. And I also was, uh, picked up a notebook, or a notepad that had some of his artwork on there. So, yeah, that's... I think does it there. I don't think there was anything else. Uh, maybe some small things here and there, but yeah. That's really about it. So I just kind of wanted to talk about that for a little bit and show the greatest of all things, which is the slime hat. <laughs> so I am super excited because now I am the Sultan of Slime and I will be forever lodged in your memories as the coolest person to ever do anything. Not really, but anywho, I hope... You enjoyed me blabbering about Tokyo and enjoyed some of the pictures there. I didn't take too horribly many. I mean, I, I've been to Tokyo countless times. Uh, I used to live really close to Tokyo, so it's not like, oh my god! So, uh, yeah. That's it. I'm done. Uh, oh, I, uh, no, I'm not. I lied. I do want to apologize. I wanted to get out the other video, the top, the, the other half of the non battle Kiseki themes. However, I each time that I went to do it, I just kind of was like, ah, I don't feel like doing it. I'm super lazy. Or I was uh, just busy or something. Uh, yeah, either busy or super lazy, which I know probably doesn't make any sense. But uh, I do thank you for watching. If you have any cool Tokyo stories or, or if you have, yeah, 
if you I hope you're enjoying your May. It's it's the start of May already. It's crazy. Uh yeah. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching and have a good day.